guys welcome back to my channel my name is Shamoya today's video is gonna be just a little bit different it's still gonna be hair care but as you can see I am wearing my protective style so I wanted to jump in and show you guys how I will be cleaning my scalp during this time so hopefully it's not too echoey because I am filming from the bathroom so I've had this um, let me go ahead and just take this down uh, and it might be a little bit just kind of tangled a little bit but it's all good so I had it in a bun for a few days because it's just easier so this Thursday will be two weeks since I got my hair um, done Th these are called goddess locks um, basically it's just like a faux locks but with the curly ends and stuff it gives it a modern day twist and something trendy. So I wanted to clean my scalp, but I wanted to show you guys because you can apply this to any type of protective style. So whether you're wearing like traditional box braids or faux locks or um, what is it called? Rope twists or any protective style, especially when you wear on this natural hair journey, you have to make sure you're taking care of your scalp scalp care is very important and very vital if you want to see hair growth just remember that your hair grows from the scalp so if your scalp is not clean then you're more than likely preventing um hair growth i know in the past like when i got protective styles i would never clean my scalp i would just have the protective style for a month to two months and not clean my scalp at all but that is something i wanted to change especially now that i'm on this natural hair journey I don't want to do anything that's going to damage my hair or prevent my hair from growing. So I wanted to make sure I take care of my scalp this time. So normally I wash my hair once a week, but I did push this to two weeks. Only because it was still fresh a week ago. So I didn't want to really rush into it. But going forward from here, I want to make sure that I do it once a week. So I'm going to show you exactly the products that I'll be using today. Alright, so I already have my spray bottle. And this has warm water, as warm as I could get it, because I know it would get kind of cold by the time I actually get to it. And it has a little bit of shampoo in it. So I grabbed two shampoos. I wasn't sure which one I was going to use. So I grabbed the Shea Moisture. I grabbed the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil because this is a clarifying shampoo that I like to use. And then I also realized that I had the Alicay Naturals Caribbean Coconut Milk Shampoo, which is also a clarifying shampoo. And what I love, which I did an entire review video using Alicay Naturals, and I'll link that up above. But this is also a clarifying shampoo, and I like that it has the nozzle. And I need a nozzle that's going to go directly on my scalp, that way I don't get all my hair wet. So I decided that I'm going to go with this one. And I put just like a little drop in the water just to help with cleansing. Next product that I have is some apple cider vinegar. This is the raw organic unfiltered apple cider vinegar. I'm going to shake that up because I'm going to put that in the water. Um, I didn't have regular tea tree oil. I just have essential oils. So I just grab... Um, the tea tree and the peppermint essential oil. So I'm going to put these in the water as well. I have this Cantu Root Relief. Um, apple cider vinegar root relief plus peppermint oil. I bought this a while back and I loved it. But I don't use it regular because I really don't have itchy scalp all the time. So I just keep this and yeah. So since I've been having a little bit of an itchy scalp. I'm going to use this after I cleanse. And I'm also going to be using my Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Threatening Oil. I've already used this a couple times. So those are the products I have and I'm going to go ahead and just finish adding stuff to this spray bottle. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the apple cider vinegar. As you can see, the water is about there. So I'm just going to add... All right, next I'm going to take the tea tree oil, essential oil. Just drop a few drops in here, and this is also going to help me with the itchy scalp. And peppermint, 
just feels amazing on the scalp if you're feeling like your hair is too tight or just that um, sensation it's gonna feel amazing so I'm just adding that just because so now that we've added everything to the spray bottle I'm just gonna put the cap back on and give it a nice little shake to make sure all those products get mixed together so there are products out there that already come like prepped and made for when you wear protective style and basically they all have all these ingredients in it anyway so this can save you from buying a new product because as a product junkie myself I didn't want to go out and buy something else just because I had protective style so all these ingredients and products already have at home so why not just make my own mixture instead of going out and buying a new product for seven to ten dollars just so yeah. I'm gonna start at the front I'm just gonna push all my hair to one side so I can kind of see what I'm doing which is hard because I'm filming I'm gonna start by just taking down like two pieces as you can see I can see the part better now so I'll just spray that there and I'm gonna go in again with the shampoo after this process so this is not gonna really lather a lot I'm just gonna spray a generous amount and then I'm gonna use my finger and make sure I get in there getting that scalp to clean it again this step is not really gonna lather right now but this is gonna just help clarifies my scalp remove any buildup that I'm getting already so you can either use a spray bottle or you can get some type of bottle that has this type of nozzle that way you can just kind of put it on your scalp all right so I'm just going to speed up this section here and just go through and do the same thing and you guys can just watch as I do it Alright guys, so that took me about 10 minutes to do. Um, my scalp doesn't really feel that dirty or there's not a lot of buildup. But if you had like a lot of flaking and stuff, just take your time. Just use your finger and just try to like, you know, make it loose and remove that buildup from your scalp. But as you can see, my scalp look relatively clean. It's just a little, it's not that dirty and I don't see any buildup, so... I got through this part of the process really easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit on my scalp for a few minutes just to let that stuff kind of penetrate and loosen up whatever it is that may be there. And then I'm going to rinse it out. So to rinse it out, I do not want to get my hair completely wet all the way down. So I'm just going to try to hold it out and use the shower hose to just run the water through like that without getting my entire hair wet. So that's just a tip for you. If you're wondering just how you're gonna rinse it out and wash it, that's how I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes, then I'll rinse it out, then I'll come back and go through the process one more time using the shampoo. All right guys, so I'm back. I just did one rinse and get that apple cider vinegar mixture out of my hair. Um, now I'm gonna use the Alicate Naturals coconut, Caribbean coconut milk shampoo to get that second cleanse going. I'm gonna do the same thing that I just did for the apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna do it in sections the same way. Like I said, it has this nozzle so it makes it easy. So now this, as you can see, is gonna ladder. So it's okay if it gets like on my hair a little bit because my natural hair is in here a little bit of a way. So if it gets down here, that's okay, but you just wanna focus it on your scalp mostly.
So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna speed up this process and let you guys watch me just apply this to my scalp and scrub it. Alright, so we've applied all our shampoo, I've massaged it real gentle, make sure I got each part, each section. So I'm just going to get ready now to rinse that out again. So let me just massage it in a little bit more. Again, like I said, my scalp is not that dirty, but if you do have a lot of buildup, take your time. Just be gentle with it so you don't have... A lot of frizz or you know a lot of you don't want to mess up your hair so just be gentle with it take your time don't rush it and if you have build up just try to use your finger just to kind of break up any build up you may have but I don't really have any so I'm good so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out now and then I'll come back and show you guys how I'm gonna moisturize and prep my hair for the week right, so. guys we're back again um, as you can see it's all rinsed out the water did end up running down a little bit so my ends as you can see right there a little bit of a dripping going on so I'm just gonna use a microfiber towel and what that does is just eliminate or minimize frizz so I'm just gonna use my microfiber towel and just squeeze some of that excess water out do the same thing for the scalp and the like beginning part of my hair right there if you have a microfiber towel that's very useful i do have a little bit of frizz but i'm gonna try to use something to tame them down a little bit or i'll probably go through it another time with the scissors and try to clean them up a little bit just to get them to last a little bit longer dry you can see my shirt is wet but it's all good so the first thing I'm gonna use is the Cantu apple cider vinegar root relief well you know you always get some amount of itching with um, braids and stuff so I don't have any excessive um, itching at the moment but I just want to kind of prep it with a little bit of this so it comes with a nozzle so I could go straight into like my scalp but I'm going to just use this pretty liquidy so I'm just going to take a little bit get it all on my fingers and just kind of go in and get it on my scalp and this stuff worked pretty quickly this one is pretty good so if you're having itching really bad you take just a little bit of that and get it in that area that you're feeling the itch and it just kind of soothes it and the peppermint also have that nice cooling feeling feels amazing the next thing you want to go in with is some type of scalp oil whichever one you have any growth oil relief oil strengthening oil this one by Mayel is such an amazing oil I use this all the time it has rosemary mint you can use it daily you can use it as a scalp treatment I have been through multiple bottles of these and this is this one is running out now so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna do this in sections because I want to make sure it gets all over my scalp so I'm gonna do the same technique that I use for the shampoo and the apple cider vinegar and just put it in make sure it gets rubbed in I'm gonna make sure it gets on my edges as well So 
So now that I've applied that oil all over, I'm just going through and making sure I massage it in, making sure that oil gets absorbed, but also making sure that I'm massaging my scalp, which also helps with blood circulation to that area, which will promote growth as well. So you want to make sure you're doing scalp massages, especially since I had my hair in a bun for so long. This is a good thing to kind of get the blood flow moving again. So I'm just going to massage my scalp for like a minute or two. Great, I'm going to move on to the next step. So even though you're wearing a protective style, you still want to make sure you're using a leave-in conditioner after washing, which is something I've never done, but I'm learning that that's an important step to make sure you do that. So I'm going to use the Alloke Naturals Lemongrass leave-in conditioner it's a liquid form so but you can use whichever one you want to use i'm gonna do this like halfway not even halfway down and i'm just gonna make sure i spray it all over that way this gets on my natural hair that's inside these locks so i'm just gonna spray it in a small section that way i can go in with my hands and just kind of massage it in and what i like with this liquid form the spray bottle just kind of absorb really quickly i also want to make sure it gets on the inside part of the braid so I'm going to keep it in the Alike Naturals family and I'm going to use a little bit of their oil to seal all that moisture in. So use a generous amount, rub it all together and I'm just going to run my hands through to make sure it gets all on my hair as well as the braids. Just to seal all that moisture in. All right, we're almost to the end now. Um, that is all done. It's all moisturized. Um, for the end part of my hair, I'm gonna put a little bit of a mousse just to hold that together since, um, just to see if I can tame some of the frizz as well as just give it a little moisture. So I'm using um, Tresemme Flawless Curls Extra Hold Mousse. And I'm just gonna abuse that to apply focusing on the ends of my hair on this one and it just kind of bring the curls back to life do the same thing on this side the only thing left to do now is to kind of lay my edges a little bit and my favorite edge control is by curls this is their blueberry bliss curl control paste and that is what I like to use to lay my edges. All right, edges are laid. Hair is nice and clean. That is everything, guys. That is how I'm going to be maintaining and taking care of my natural hair while I'm in protective style. Hopefully you guys learned something from this video. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below. To mention one thing, I'm just gonna let it air dry for a few hours. It's not like soaking wet, it's still damp. So I'm just gonna let it air dry for a few hours. And if you do this and your hair is extremely wet, you can go in on like a low setting on your blow dryer, just kind of blow it and get it dry so if this is still wet in a few hours I might do that but for now I'm just gonna tie my edges down and let it air dry on its own so it's not like soaking wet right now don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching me maintain and take care of my protective style hopefully this style will last me another two to four weeks we'll see how it goes but I'm gonna be repeating this step or these steps every week until I am done wearing it so hopefully you guys enjoy this video don't forget if you're not subscribed make sure you're subscribed to my channel i'm going to be having a, another video coming soon 
where I'm styling and doing different styles using my goddess locks. So if you want to see that video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel because it will be coming soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, bye guys.